Good Sorry. to go? Yeah. Good enough. Good enough? You'll survive? Yeah. Okay. Probably. <laughs> I hope so. We'll see. I feel like I have, like, fuzzes on me. Oh, no. But I don't. It's fine. Everything's fine. Dying you determined, remember, I don't have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous of his beard, y'all. Oh. Not all of us can be so lucky, I guess. No. <laughs> that was silly. <laughs> <laughs> We're too silly. Don't That's put okay. that in. Oh, I'm going to put that in. <laughs> Dang it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Jana Reacts, the next episode in our series where we show my wife, Jana, some Hi. prog music. She's not a big prog fan really she's only learning about it basically yeah. through this show i'm it becoming just, a fan of it i don't yeah. think i'm ever going to be like you and just like listen to it on right. my off time but like i've enjoyed everything that i've listened to so that's most, great most everything most everything 98 percent of it <laughs> there's the oddball or two yeah. out there and it's not like there was a song that i totally hated it's like there was this section of this song that i hated <laughs> yeah. and this section of this song that i was like oh and this song of this <laughs> this section of this song right that i was like no <laughs> but as a whole as a whole, about, you're you know, enjoying it. 97, 98%. 98%. That's a pretty good average, <laughs> yeah, I think. That's pretty good. Almost, I mean, I'd say similar to most, like, if I took everything in totality of all the prog I like, you know, <laughs> of all the prog music I've heard, I'd probably mm. like, you know, 98% of it. Oh, well, there you go. I'm just kidding. I'm like, I'm you're, like in line. That's yeah, pretty good. <laughs> you know, that's an A. That is an A. That's almost an A+. You're plus. getting an A in Jana Reacts. That's good. Not doing we did so it. good in classic albums 101. <laughs> That's a different story. I feel like story. I'm getting a C in that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're doing all right. All right. So yeah, so... We're going to shuffle. This is where we shuffle through a list of different prog songs that have been <clears throat> compiled. Some from like a notable prog site that I saw. Some from viewer requests also. And some that I just threw in because I really would like to react to them and show them to my wife. Prog Hot 100. <laughs> a little bit of a <laughs> selfish move, but... You know, so there's okay. a bunch of different choices, and we'll see what we get. Yeah, it's my show, so <laughs> I'm going to do my thing. <laughs> so anyways, uh, let's get into the shuffle right now, I guess. Okay. Let's see what we got. Shuffle the song. All right. Shuffle. Oh. Oh, this is a great choice. I love this track. This is Moon Safari. Moon Safari. Kid they, have, Panic. they have that one song that's... I stole the moon. <laughs> yeah, you like to sing <laughs> that one. I stole the moon. Yeah. That's like the only thing I know about you Moon Safari. Yeah, and I heard... only remember it because they say, I stole the moon, and their band name is called Moon Safari. <laughs> yeah, that track's called Mega Moon, just if you're interested. Oh, okay. That's a cool track. Um, but yeah, Moon Safari is one of my favorites. I I think I probably slipped this in here just because I thought it would be a fun <laughs> one to... To showcase sneaky, 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 because I love I love this band a lot, and I don't think they're as well known as they should be in kind of the modern prog landscape. And I think a lot of people who love the classic prog that have come here that may not know a lot of these more modern bands, I think this is a great one to check out. So, just one I, I was hoping would pop up shuffling, just so I could like promote them and talk about them because <laughs> they're just one of my favorite bands. What's this song called? <laughs> so this song is called "The Kid Called Panic." 13 and minutes. I actually, I know you hate the long epics, but... Yes, um, 13 minutes, that's not so long. As <laughs> I was thinking of adding the previous song onto this one and doing them together. So <laughs> this is kind of what starts this out. This is one of my favorite albums called Lover's End. And to me, the first track and this one kind of work together as kind of the opening of the okay. album. So we have to do two songs. <laughs> yeah, if that's okay. That's okay. If you you could, you know, <laughs> this one, let me add it in. Where is it? Here we go. This one is like almost seven minutes. Okay. So Plus to, 13. Together, it's like a little over 20 minutes. But it, to me, it gives a great impression of, like of the band. I think it's really good. And you like these songs? Yeah, these are two of my favorites. I love, okay. this is my favorite Moon Safari album. Just personally has a lot of meaning to me. And so why? that's why I put them in the shuffle. Well, to get a little personal. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> oh, no. This kind of came out at a difficult time in my life. So it was really kind of a comforting album to me at the time. 
it was back. Was it 2010? Yeah, it came out in 2010. That was a bad year for him. <laughs> where I had graduated <laughs> from college and I wasn't sure what to do with my life. I had just dealt with like a breakup of, of with a girl that I knew back in college. And I was just really unsure what to do with myself and really sad and felt lonely. And this album, you know, it's called Lover's End. It kind of deals a lot with with kind of the end of relationship and that kind of thing. Aww. So it was just, it really comforted me at the time. It I was imagine just music you like I in your car listening to this being like. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> well, no. I won't admit it, but maybe. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> But just, it really helped me because even though it deals with kind of some sad subject, it's very positive, happy music. I mean, oh, they're good. a band that's very uplifting and, and positive in their sound. So it, it was a good blend of like, I can relate to this because of the harsh things I'd been dealing with at the time. But at the same time, it's uplifting and positive and they have such joy in their music and I love their harmonies. Uh, and uh, I love it. It's a... Uh, <laughs> It. So I love that. this is kind of a personal <laughs> choice, and I hope you guys are okay with it. But it's just, it's a really meaningful song. It's lucky we shuffled songs. into it then. That's yeah, cool. I've been hoping all this time. It's been a while since I've thrown this in, and I'm like, man, I wish we could do this. But finally it's here. So I think it's time. Let's right? do it. I'll play it. All right. Headphones. Headphones on. Hopefully you enjoy it. I hope so. <laughs> Don't Watch, after him. that whole, like explanation you're like oh that sucked <laughs> i'm just kidding no i'm sure you're gonna love this this is great stuff okay so there should be a lot of good things to talk about i'm ready i like it so far <laughs>
pretty. Enjoying it?
tale of somebody like whose heart is broken and, yeah. and they just they they know they want to get out of this place of 
of sadness, but like they feel like they belong there. And, you know, it doesn't matter if like there's the friend that's coming over yeah. to try and pull you out of it or whatever else is going on. He's still like in that spot where, where his heart is broken. Yeah. So. Yeah. It was really relatable. But then, <laughs> <at> the <time. laughs> but then it, the, but the music is so like uplifting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like the subject is so <clears throat> sad and you know, you but can't, you can't help but feel like it's hopeful. <laughs> yeah, there's hopefulness in the lyri- in the just the positivity of the music, like, yeah. and that's what I really loved about it at the time. I was sad and I needed lyrics and story that I could relate to, but I needed something to bring me joy as well to kind of help lift me out of it a little yeah. bit and to be an escape from the pain and so forth. So I feel like this does a great job of that. It's it's a really interesting mixture where it's these really sad lyrics that you can relate to that kind of speak to your feelings, but then has hopeful, positive music somehow around it. Like, you know, it's, it's almost this idea that there's hope beyond this sadness. It's like Like, you're alone and sad, but it's going to be all right because here's some nice music. (laughs) Yeah. It's comforting (laughs) to me as we talked before about comfort Prague and comfort Prague. (laughs) You know, this is one of my all time favorite pieces of music. I just think it's excellent. It does everything I love about music and has always been one of my top tier favorites. It sounded like Piano Guys music. Do you know Piano Guys? Yeah, Do you guys know Piano Guys? They do different arrangements. Yeah, and like a lot of like like piano sounds where it like hits a a high note like every now and then, you know, Uh like under regular rhythm. And it gives that like driving force behind it. And that's how I felt about this. Like it was this driving force behind the music that like just kept going and going. And uh, there was a part in the middle, though, I was counting like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But uh, then there were times where it was one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, yeah. five. And I'm like, oh, I tripped. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> it's definitely a hallmark of prog music, certainly. Yeah. Yeah. But I, oh, I thought that was so good. It was just so like, the music was so beautiful. Yeah, like, I agree. so much to it. It felt full and, mm-hmm. and like it had. It had all kinds of like it was like there was an orchestra on the stage. Like it just so felt so full of yeah. of sound of so many different types of music with the piano and the drums and and yeah. everything the in between. And, yeah, yeah. It just oh beautiful. Was, the music was so good and the, <laughs> and the message was like so sad, <laughs> but like the music made it so good. Yeah. <laughs> like it just didn't matter. It was so sad. <laughs> Yeah. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Poor sad Nathan. Yeah, well, it's fine. It worked out. Yeah, you met me the next year. So. Yeah, yeah. So that was not the right relationship in any any case. But I was just in yeah. a weird headspace because I just didn't know any better. And, you know, was sad about it. Like, you know, feeling lonely. Would I ever find someone? And, you know, it, it turned around fairly quickly <laughs> afterwards. But, you know, it kind of came out in that perfect spot where I was yeah. still raw from that and sad about it. And felt these lyrics deeply, and throughout the whole album, really. So it's it's a beautiful album. I strongly, strongly recommend. Aww. If that spoke to you, it's Yay. just it's a beautiful album, and they're an incredible band. I really want to promote them, and it's just it's a band that everyone who loves Prague should know about. And I love the I, you know I can't speak enough about the the vocals. Like to me, that's oh, one so, of the oh my god, that I didn't even <laughs> talk about that. That was like amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that this was is... so good because they had they had great harmon like their yeah. harmonies and then they did like there was a, a somewhere at the beginning where they did like that like a round yeah a little a bit of yeah back and bouncing forth. vocals and that was, I love that vocal counterpoint kind so of so good the singing was yeah. so good because that that's kind of to me their magic trick is that they do these incredible vocal arrangements. Like they could almost be a, like just an acapella group at the same time. I feel like yeah. even some of the members are in like acapella groups. So they have this like well, that's fun. really great blend of vocals that just brings it to another level. Like these almost Beach Boys-esque, you know, harmonies and things yeah. that just like bring it to another level. And just they do that way beyond what I think most other prog bands can do. It's just a... a special skill that they have that is just such an important part of their group yeah. and because i love it's kind of a a secret thing is that i love acapella vocals i love acapella groups like pentatonics and groups that just do lots of 
great vocal arrangements of stuff. I love yeah. the harmonies and just the vocal tricks. And I think this band does that in a prog setting. So that to me is like, you know, it's like the perfect marriage for my taste, you know. <laughs> so just everything about this group is, is so stellar. And I just, I hope they continue. It's been a while since their previous album. And I've heard they're kind of been working for a while on a new album. But I think if I hopeful. were to have a favorite prog band, this might be it. Even Whoa. though I've only heard two songs from them. <laughs> yeah. But I still like sing that I Stole yeah. the Moon song Make all moon. the time. Yeah. That's from their previous album yeah. called uh, Himlebacken, Volume 1, I believe. Which before this one or after no this after one? this one this is the that because you played that like when we first got married and that's like where I yeah. remember it from is like seeing that song over and over again yeah. in our first apartment so that's so. I believe that's their last studio album they made which as you mentioned it was like came out around when we first got married that's the last one I believe they it made? came out in 2013 guys what are you doing so. come on <laughs> well. this is good stuff we need more of this <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's reasons I don't want to like. Because, you know, with prog nowadays, yeah. it's it's these guys have all kinds of other jobs and things going on in That's their life. True. This is kind of something they do on the side, and which is crazy that a band like this that's so talented and amazing can't really make a living primarily off of this is just really uh-huh. a crime. But, you know, I do hope that they continue and make more music. Maybe this is my, like, plea, because if the band happens to watch this, please. We would like more. We please. want more. <laughs> <laughs> Please, sir, may I have some more? <laughs> but yeah, I I love it. So huge thumbs up. This is one of my all-time favorite favorite songs. So I want to listen to more of their stuff. Yeah, we should like once we close the video, like go off and listen to the rest of the album. <laughs> Maybe. Oh boy, I got a new fan here. <laughs> Hopefully, some of you guys out there. I'm sure this was new to some people who are listening. Or more until maybe the classic, like, yes and stuff that you guys will check this out because there's stuff being made today that's just as good. And this is a great example to me of, like, excellent prog music that's being made today that rivals the classics, in my opinion. Maybe that's hyperbole for some, but I believe it. (laughs) I agree with myself, I guess. What? I agree with you. Thank you. I agree with yourself. (laughs) So this is a great piece. and Yeah. Really happy we covered it. I know it's kind of a personal choice, so glad we got to it. And Thank you, hope, Shuffle Gods. Hopefully people are okay that I took this liberty a little bit. I'm glad. I'm glad you added it to the <laughs> shuffle. I think that's good. Yeah. So people need to hear about it. Remember, it's your show, so yeah. you get to do what you want. At the end want. of the day, it's my, my choices, my <laughs> show. As much as people may disagree in the comments. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, but you guys are great. I'm thankful yeah. for all the commenters and and there's been some good stuff. That you guys have, come have through. brought great attention to great things too. We've shuffled into several requests by now too that you guys have put forward. Mm-hmm. So it's a big community and everyone gets to contribute. I hope so. That's kind of what we're doing. So please subscribe if you haven't yet. If you've gone this far into the video, I <laughs> assume you're probably subscribed or at least watch me regularly. But who knows? <laughs> if you haven't, do pull the trigger. I guess. So (laughs) thank you guys so much for, for watching these with us and for all that you guys do for our, for our show and our community (laughs) and just keep enjoying the music. Enjoy the music. So bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.